OK, we've got 20 barking and yapping dogs, each with a different brand of rechargeable batteries inside them. All the batteries are fully charged and they're going to be run for the first time. Yep, and we've enlisted the help of pretty much everybody in the Gadget Show office. Hello, Gadget Show office. Hi. Oh, marvellous. Now, they're all here to make sure that every single dog is started at exactly the same time. And obviously, the winning dog will be the one that walks, yaps and backflips for the longest. OK, here we go. Three, two, one. Switch them on. OK, dog handlers, thank you very much. Back to work now, please. Not you, Perry. Last year, we tested single-use batteries with dogs like these and it took over six hours, so we prepared for a long wait. Rechargeable batteries are perfect for your high-use gadgets and usually they come in a nickel-metal hydride form and they're usually good for about a 1,000 cycles as long as you look after them properly. A good way of deciding how your rechargeable battery is going to perform is by its milliamp-hours rating, or MAH figure, which is often written on the side of the battery here, look, 2850 mAh. That's quite a high-powered battery, so it's going to last a long time. However, the higher that figure, the less amount of times you can recharge it. Thankfully for us, it didn't take too long to register our first casualty. Pure energy at 1 hour 27 minutes. As the clock approached two hours, we started to lose a few more of the lower capacity batteries. Yeah, OK, well, that went at 1.40.02. But many more were performing well. We did our best to maintain scientific focus, but before long, thoughts began to turn towards bedding down for the night, and the yapping just wouldn't stop. Make the dog stop! For the love of God! Please! But before insanity set in, we were down to our final five, and then our final two. It was a cuddly dog-shaped fight to the death between our two highest capacity batteries, the Uniross 2700 and the Ansman 2850. With the Uniross winning out, lasting a formidable four hours, 90 minutes and 43 seconds. So we now knew which lasted the longest on first use. But with rechargeables, that's not the whole story. We had to factor in recharge time and the costs for the batteries and chargers before coming up with our top five. So, at number five, the Sony 2000s, which outlasted higher capacity challenges to finish third in our duration test, but dropped two places due to a six-hour recharge time. And at number four, the Ansman 2850. Our highest capacity batteries, which kept going for over four hours, but took three hours, 42 minutes to recharge. In third place, the Energizer 2450. A solid overall performer, surviving for just under four hours and taking only an hour to recharge. In second place, the GP Recyclo batteries which ran for 3 hours 48 minutes and recharged quickest of all in 35 minutes. And they're a new breed of rechargeable with lower self-discharge, meaning they won't run down as quickly if left unused in a device. Which means that our number one rechargeable batteries are the Uniross 2700s. They kept going for the longest at well over four hours and took just over an hour to recharge. Perfect for using again and again 